and we're live. Welcome to my new tutorial. Of course, they're all new, but this one is special. This one is for noobs only. Okay, by definition, noob means newbie, newcomer, new guy. Okay, so for all of you wanting to learn Blender, you know, the easy way, this is a special for you. Okay, so you notice this splash screen. The splash screen is something which shows the version and stuff, who made the splash screen, where you can find the program, everything like that. Okay, just move your cursor to make it disappear, like that. Okay, and um, let's start with this cube, okay? Click and uh, hold your middle mouse button, you know, the one with scroll. Don't scroll it, this is for, um, you know, moving towards, you know, the center. Uh, just click on it and hold it like that and move your mouse now okay you can you know fly on um, an imaginary sphere okay with your um, camera in the 3d view okay so that's how you move the camera around okay it can be pretty tricky at uh, at first but you know you get used to it okay so let's go now okay and uh, you notice this cube might be dull for you, okay? So uh, let's let's try the basics. Press G, as in goose, for it to move, and you no, know, move your cursor around like this. But you notice uh, there are a few axes around here. To be precise, X and Y by default. I once activated Z, but you no, know, never mind that. Okay, so you want it to move um, on a certain axis, and you know, just press um, you know the letter of that axis. Okay, let's try for instance X. Press X on your keyboard now, and you notice your X axis is highlighted now with the you know pink-ish thing. Okay, never mind that. Just you know, move your mouse, and you notice. It just moves around, okay? On the X axis. Try Y, okay? Y, because it's Y, okay? And it works the same way. Try Z, and notice it goes up and down, which is, you know, relative because there is no up nor down. Now, if you want to um, apply your new, you know, modifications, press left click, okay? like this. If you don't want to, let's say, hey, this would look better. On the other hand, no, just press right click to cancel your current editing. And it's back uh, to its original thing. Now, you have perspective and orthographic cameras, which uh, could be very helpful when modeling. Okay, now I'm currently in perspective mode. But to switch to orthographic or perspective, Press 5 on your on your numpad, okay? And you notice it's um, well for those of you with default Blender settings, you'll now see this, okay? And for those of you that switch uh, to orthographic, you'll see this, okay? So it looks like you know one of those uh, math, you know, in school like drawings. Press Z to go to wireframe, and you have you know perfect cube stuff okay four by four parallels yeah if I can remember correctly but we don't want that for now okay we're not going to model anything today so press 5 on the numpad and you go back to perspective mode which is you know more like lifelike yeah okay so press Z to go back to solid mode now let's try the other um, you know, just um, just to adjust your uh, comfort. Uh, let's say you want to make this cube bigger, okay? So press S, as in scale, and move your mouse around, okay? You notice it scales up, like this, or down, like this, yeah. Okay, but, uh, you know, you can use, like, the same things, as in uh, movement, which you know basically just the axis but it's no longer a cube it's it's a prism i think yeah pretty much 
almost. Okay, and you can scale it up or down on your um, axis of choice. Z. You'll use it later. Okay, right click or left click, you know, whatever you want. And now you notice it's a bit too perfect, if that's correct, and it isn't. So you want to, you know, just skew it off a bit, rotate it. For that, you press R, as in rotate R and you know just move your mouse around the blue center or whatever color it is for you okay well again it uh, rotates just from your perspective axis you know it's a pseudo axis so again x y z whatever you want right okay so uh, that's about it for object mode and you know everything like this oh yeah if you want shift D is for duplicating an object yippee yippee okay again you can uh, you can go with the axis by default when you duplicate you go into movement stuff okay and alt D uh, this is a pretty weird one so you know just Move your uh, last indicated stuff here, you know, the last cube thing, and press Alt D and move it a bit up. Okay, so you have to have two separate groups like this. Okay, let's uh, proceed to edit mode. Okay, press any, you know, select any cube with the right click and press Tab. Okay, so you notice uh, the whole thing is changed now on your cube and you notice a few more uh, you know dots and points and stuff a dot like this is called a vertex more dots are called vertices okay two dots that link are linked by uh, something like this called an edge three or more dots a face okay press A to deselect or again A to select all no that's handy and you can use the same uh, things as in object mode as you know like movement 